Hello, good morning, and uh, good to be with you. I trust that you are all doing well. Someone once asked me, Chris, they said, do you get anxious when you travel to the various places that you go to teach and to preach uh, as you travel around the world? Uh, they, were, they were meaning more than anything. And my, my immediate response was yes, I do get anxious. I get anxious when I go to countries where perhaps Christianity isn't the majority religion. And so there is the threat of religious um, opposition. Uh, I get anxious when I go to countries where there's the, the threat of natural disaster, <laughs> uh, volcanoes and the such like, and whatever else might be happening. Or there's the possibility of violence or sickness, all sorts of weird and wonderful sicknesses. And of course, those different little critters that you find, whether they be bugs that bite or spiders or snakes or whatever else it might be that might come across your path or on a day as you're walking uh, to the college buildings. So yes, and of course then my final concern is this, is the course that I'm teaching, is the work that I'm doing actually suitable and beneficial to the people uh, to whom I'm delivering it? And so yes, I do worry. I do worry about these type of things. Uh, but, you know, there are two opposing forces in the, the Christian life, and uh, it's anxiety and peace. And they are constantly seem to be at battle in our minds and our hearts. And uh, the Apostle Paul writes this in the book of Philippians in chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. And it's a real encouragement as well as being a real challenge. He says, do not be anxious about anything. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And I say, yes, yeah, sometimes you feel rebuked when you read that and you think, oh, I shouldn't be getting worried about things. But just a few issues from that. The first one is this. Anxiety is real. However much we try, we all get anxious about some things and of course we know that anxiety can cause health issues even the bible tells us that in proverbs chapter 12 and verse 25 it says anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down and uh, that's true isn't it you you do you 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 feel you feel uh, under pressure you feel a burden when you're anxious about certain things we have cares don't we about people finances employment illness all of which can affect uh, can have an effect on our effectiveness uh, as people to live and uh, but also can have an effect on our ministry and so we have to be very careful that yes anxiety is real don't be surprised if you get anxious about things it's a, a natural human emotion however the wonderful thing is this Paul gives us an answer to this situation he says there's an antidote for anxiety and he said the antidote is prayer he says, pray. He says, pray. Um, you know, the great thing about our weakness is the strength of our God. Too often we begin, and I'm as much to blame as anybody here, so don't think I'm telling everybody what they should be doing because I can. I, I won the battle, if you like. So often we look at the situation and we begin with the size of the problem and our inabilities rather than looking at the size of our God and his abilities. And you know, that gives us such a different perspective on things. If we go into life thinking, yes, I know that my God is able, then we haven't got to be relying on ourselves to do and to cope with the situations that we find ourselves. Paul says here in these few verses, he says, in your anxiety, simply turn to God in prayer. Notice this well, he says all things or anything and everything can be taken to God in prayer. I don't know if you are like me and sometimes you think, I don't need to bother God with that. It's too small, it's too insignificant. But actually it gnaws away at you on the inside and you, you, you become more and more anxious and more and more concerned about that particular situation. I can deal with it myself. And you end up making a complete mess of it. However, Paul says to you, anything and everything, take it to the Lord in prayer. This is 
encouraging as well from Matthew chapter 6. Now, these are the words of Jesus, okay? And that is so important. Matthew 6, 26 to 28. Therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap, but God cares for them. Are you not of more value than them? See, humanity is the pinnacle of the creation of God, and we are assured of his constant concern and attention for us. And so the answer to your anxiety today is not found in human wisdom, but in seeking God. So take your cares to the Lord this morning. There is an antidote for your anxiety, and it's prayer. But then listen to what the answer is. The answer that comes is peace. Peace in your heart, peace in your mind, peace in your very self. True peace with God and from God. It's that importation, if you like, of divine peace, which rests solely on the greatness and the ability and the desire of God to help. A peace that can't be found in any other source other than the reserve of God. Notice, though, that peace doesn't come from getting the answer, but peace is the answer. And you say, well, that's a bit of a conundrum because when I pray, I want an answer. Yeah, but when we pray, we want God to bring peace into our lives so that we can continue to function and carry on and, as Christians in our everyday lives. And Paul says, you'll have peace when you pray, not when you get the answer. So learn to take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. He says, and then God will give a peace in your heart. I love that word. He says, he, he says he'll, act, he'll act as a guard or a sentry to your soul and your heart. Do you know what a guard does, don't you? Have you ever been to Buckingham Palace or one of the great palaces or uh, important places around the earth, the political places? You see those soldiers stood outside. They are watching, protecting you from who's coming in. And they're protecting the people who are inside. So they are stopping anybody that could cause you a problem. And they're protecting the ones who are in on the inside. Or we might say that this peace that God brings to us, it protects our internal thoughts but it also protects us from the external pressures. You can know that peace today. Even in the turmoil, there is peace available if you will just take your need to the Lord. Paul said, pray. Pray about your issues. Pray about your situations. If you're anxious today, why don't you simply call out to the Lord and hand your situation over. I'm going to pray and spend a little moment or two in prayer. Are you troubled or are you anxious about something today and you just want to say to the Lord, take this burden from me? Can I encourage you just to lift it before the Lord this morning and let him take your burden and experience his peace, the peace that God is in control, that he is there for you, and that he's, he's doing everything in his power to bring your situation to the fulfillment that he desires. Let's pray. Lord, as we come before you this morning, we realise that in our weakness we do become anxious and troubled about all sorts of things. This morning I just want to pray for the folks who are listening to this message, that you will just bring peace into their situations, that you will take the anxiety and the trouble and the turmoil that's in their life, and you will lift the burden and that you will bring a peace into their hearts 
that they might know the truth, that you are the one who's in control. Lord, just help us, I pray today, not to be anxious, but in everything with thanksgiving to make our requests known to you. And so, Lord, we do thank you this morning. Thank you for who you are, for what you've done for us, and what you're going to do for us. And now, Lord, just take our requests, take our concerns, take those needs that you know that we have, and replace them with peace in our hearts and in our minds. In Jesus' name.